right, this is uh, John Brass from RunMichigan.com talking to Andy Bowman from, uh, well, formerly uh, an OU alumni, <laughs> cross country and track member, and uh, ran down at the Olympic Trials Marathon a little over two weeks ago. So one thing I wanted to ask you, Andy, was what, uh, I know that morning, you know, I, I saw you guys when you started, but what, what kind of transpired that morning before the race? Uh, before the race, I mean, everything was kind of business as usual, you know. Uh, I got up, got to sleep in a little bit later than usual, just because, you know, it was a much later marathon than most of us are used to. Uh, took the bus, rode with the athletes, uh, did a little bit of a shake up, but mostly just kind of sit and uh, try not to shake yourself out uh, before the race gets started. It's 26.2 miles, so, you know, it's like, just relax, you know, work's done, so let's just move into it, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, that was basically the gist, and just being corralled with a bunch of high-caliber athletes that you usually only see on YouTube or something else, you know. So I was, that must have been pretty cool then. It was, honestly. Um, you know, it felt very similar to when I got to go to Eugene when I was still running for Oakland, where again, you just see these elite level athletes um, everywhere you look and you're just like, oh, wow, this is, <laughs> you know, this is a different environment. You kind of geek out just a little bit, but because you have some self-respect for yourself, you also know, hey, I deserve to be here too. So let's, uh, you know, we can be excited, but let's take ourselves seriously as well. Right. And uh, I know when that gun went off, what were you thinking? Relax. Um, I know the front pack, I mean, I guess first couple of miles, they didn't really get after it too much, but I also knew with the conditions being what they were and, you know, the idea for me was just let's feel it out on the first lap. I just really tried to keep to myself and just kind of eased into it. Um, so gun went off, uh, guys that I knew kind of took off and I just kind of stayed where I was. Um, our pack eventually formed and, uh, you know, I knew some of the guys that were around me. So I'm like, okay, this is a pretty good spot. Um, and so it was just kind of, we eased right into it. So not too bad. What, what did you think of the course after? I know you had the little two mile loop, right? But then once you kind of got out on that eight mile loop. To be honest, if it wasn't for the heat, I thought the course was, you know, splendid. Um, you know, you really love a good spectator friendly course because you just get so many people cheering you on. Um, and for what it's worth, I mean, there were a couple of hills, but relatively flat. And because it's, you know, kind of doing a loop, uh, the tangents are pretty easy to follow. Um, not to mention, they did a really good job of setting everything up. So plenty of fluids and other things that were easily accessible. So, um, I mean, that's only marathon number three for me. But of the, of the bunch, you know, I thought that was definitely the least chaotic out of all of them. And I felt like I, I knew where I was and what was going on. So. Um, and you mentioned the heat. I know it did start to get fairly warm out there, it seemed like, quickly. And, and I would imagine was there probably wasn't much shade to run in, was there? You know, at the start, you had the shade of the buildings, but that didn't last very long. So once you kind of got over to the overpasses and the sun started to beat down on you, it was just all out in the open and kind of everyone doing their best to deal with it. I mean, they had a lot of uh, wet sponges and extra fluids out there. so. Um, definitely took advantage of that, but they, it was brutal. That's that Florida weather we were hoping not to get. So, right, right. Yeah. Um, and uh, I know you made it, it looked like you made it through about 17 miles. Just right? a little over. Yep, yep. Um, made it to, I'd say, the halfway point. Um, and this is the first time I got to experience it in a marathon um, where the legs just felt like we were working too hard, okay. way too early. Um, and I've never dnf to race before so there was a good moral <laughs> just like battle going on in my head where it's like uh we, we've never dropped out of a race we, we need to keep going but you know by the time we got to a little past uh, that halfway point it just really started to get difficult um to a point where i just you know i tried to convince myself you know you can jog for 10 miles at least you know just just do that and it just incrementally got worse so I, I, I run from McCurdy. I knew where James was at, uh, our coach, and I thought, 
you know, even if I fail today, I am still going to make sure I get to the finish line because I know uh, my wife was going to finish and I, I just have to be there for that. So um, that became my priority uh, once I just knew I, I wasn't going to be able to finish. Yeah, and I would imagine, I mean, being a championship like that, like that's a little different than if you were running a, like like a different marathon like Indy or something. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, both Indy and Ottawa, I have the benefit of knowing, like, I just have to hit a mark. I'm right. not really here to compete with anybody next to me. Um, but at this point, you're like, everybody's hit that mark, and now I just, I'm, I'm kind of fighting for a position. Um, and you're just around so many elite caliber people that it's, it's not like there was some giant gap between me and, and the chasers. And yeah. it just feels like every time someone passes you, you just lose that much more. So, um, you know, it just, it's a different ball game. You know, it's, it's not the same. It's just totally different. So. Well, and it sounds like you got some other uh, events coming up here fairly shortly. So I'm sure it was nice. You got that fitness to just go off of that now right and that's what we're banking on yeah the uh, uh gate river 15k championship you know kind of a quick turnaround but um i think sydney and i will both have a lot of fun we've got that marathon fitness we've done a couple of workouts started our runs already and um we're feeling pretty good and we're, we're changing a couple of things with our routines um you know just making sure where we're doing all the little things and, and not just kind of you know, shrugging off some of those things um, so that by the time we get there, I think we'll be fairly confident. You know, our fitness hasn't gone anywhere, so we just got to tune in and, and do do what we do. So, All right. Yeah, yeah and, then, and then it sounded like, too, you got another marathon coming up here fairly oh, shortly. Crazy enough. <laughs> we'll be in the uh, Pittsburgh Marathon where, you know, turn, uh, coining it first, uh, fit for pit. Um, so uh, that's where Sydney had her first big victory. So it's kind of like a coming home for her. And, you know, she's so psyched about it. How could I not jump into it? Um, so we're really excited about, uh, about that. I think we've got a little less than 11 weeks to go here. So again, checking all the boxes, doing everything right, because I think that is our main priority. Um, I mean, we'll have a couple other races here or there for the buildup, but that's kind of the one we want to, you know, make a statement. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, it sounds nice. And uh, and then did you get a chance to see Sydney finish down there in, uh, at the trials? I did. Uh, you know, the bonus of dropping out and having so much time because I was at mile 17 and the walk uh, with the looped course was not far to, <laughs> to get back to the finish line. Um, I actually had a lot of time. Um, so I got to uh, kind of watch a lot of the other racers come in. I got to see uh, Connor and Clayton finish. So a lot of time to take all that in while we, I was also commiserating with the other people that had dropped out. There's a host of us and um, we just kept an eye on the live tracker. So when Sydney finally came in, I, I just had a water and Gatorade in both hands. And was just there to catch her. So that was I loved. The, I loved that I had that moment at the very least. So. Yeah, no, that's nice. And uh, I guess overall, did you, did you enjoy that experience oh, down God, there in yeah. Orlando? I, you know, every time everyone's asked me, I've always been like, I loved the experience. I loved everything leading into it, and even afterwards because we had a lot of good family time. Um, the race was just really difficult. Yeah. But I also recognize it. Just you know, it wasn't my day. It doesn't make me hate running. It doesn't make me hate the marathon. It's just. Every once in a while you have a day like that, you don't, you, you hope it's not going to be on the day where you really want to perform, but you know, it still didn't take away anything as far as how, you know, how much I care about this sport. So, you know, it was a good experience overall. Well, again, congratulations. I mean, that was a big accomplishment to qualify for the trials and, uh, you know, it was neat to see you down there uh, and see you out there running. So it was, it was really awesome. Thanks. So, all right. Well, thank you. Yeah, absolutely.